So hello, welcome you all. Today I will be trying to pop up some questions about the box in your mind. I will be arguing three simple questions which are going to be what is the box, what do people understand from the box and what can we do with, with the box. So you all know today's topic is thinking outside the box. But did you really think what the box means in this phrase? The box in this phrase represents our personality. Our personality. Think every side of the box as factors that create your personality. Our education, our culture, our beliefs, our decisions, our experiences and social norms. Together, these six factors are creating you as a person and you as a part of the society. So when I first decided to make the speech, I wondered people's views about the box. Firstly, I did some observation and watched people's reactions when they're asked to think outside the box. What I found out was many of the people are trying to find something totally unusual and different when they're asked to think outside the box. They are challenging themselves to think outside the box, but they disregard the fact that they cannot find something which is not a product of their personality. Since we all have different personalities, which means each product of personality is a product of creativity. That is why we shouldn't be afraid of spilling out our, out our thoughts and sharing our ideas, because as we share, we will be able to have a pool full of ideas and products of creativities. Another thing I did was typing thinking outside the box success stories in Google. I glanced through the first sites and one more time I realized that thinking outside the box is not getting rid of who you are and instead it is showing out who you are, which means it is about creativity. Many of the people are assuming that they can only find something creative if they leave their current personality, but that is not the right way to do it. You don't have to leave your box to be creative because the box is your personality and that is what gives you creativity. The only thing we have to do is continue creating and as we create, we are going to be able to have a box full of ideas and more experiences. So I want to list those six factors again. Our culture, our education, our beliefs, our experiences, our decisions and social norms. For our boxes and according to our brains to stay alive, we all need these six factors. But still we can combine them and push them out to increase the volume of our boxes. Just like our brains, our boxes are getting bigger every day. Every day, every second, we're hearing, thinking, and learning new things. These new things sometimes change the way we understand the life. I can give you an example from the superstitions under the beliefs side of the box. According to the Stress Management and Phobia Institute in North Carolina, between 17 and 21 million people in the U.S. are suffering from a significant fear of Friday 13th. They avoid making financial deals and postponing their travels. Also, it is estimated that businesses lose roughly a billion dollars in income yearly just because Friday 13th phobia. Fears, beliefs like this, is getting on your way to go forward. Even though they're parts of your personality, they might or personally have become barriers on your way to improve ourselves. We should be pushing them out to increase the volume of our boxes and trying to shape our box, which I will be discussing in a minute. Another example can be given from the social norms. Many women are staying passive in work fields and social life, just because social norms expect them to be. But maybe, and again, personally, definitely, they will be successful in work fields and social life and will be able to find things that others cannot at the moment. Because just as I said, everybody is different, and what makes life livable is those differences. Maybe now we would be living the life that we will be living the life that we will be living 20 years later if we were able to widen our decisions and move the clashing points like the superstitions preventing us from taking action. So we, will, we should be combining these six factors and pushing them out and trying to shape our boxes. So as you can understand, the problem with the box is the clashes. Sometimes these sides of the box clash with each other. If we continue from the example of superstitions, sometimes our beliefs clash with our experiences. Just like the people who have tried a 13th phobia, avoid making financial deals, and accordingly, because of their fear, they lose roughly a billion dollars in income. And these clashes are preventing us from taking action and going forward, and they are represented by the edges of the box. So, we will be able to think outside the box if and only if we improve ourselves by getting involved in the difference of groups of people while trying to move the clashing points so that we can get rid of the stereotype ideas and develop our boxes. As Eric Von Walter once said, if you don't think outside the box, you may just get stuck in a cubicle. Changes, differences, always gives you a chance to see things from a different perspective and draw conclusions from the things that you have gone through. That is why we should be improving ourselves in every way while trying to ignore the factors that are blocking our way in the process of creativity. 
I would like to rephrase the term, think outside the box, as get rid of the edges, widen your sphere, widen your box, get rid of the edges, and widen your future. Thank you.